what happened to Radiant Garden turning it into Hollow Bastion? In a recent stream, this was a conversation subject. I thought I'd dig a little deeper and think about what really happened to Radiant Garden. This is Glitchy with what happened to Radiant Garden. There are a few more questions related to this one, like who, why, when and how. So let's start right at the beginning. In Birth by Sleep, Radiant Garden was still the City of Light, and ruled by a king called Ansem the Wise. It was also the homeworld to our Final Fantasy characters. We have the castle and town intact, as we can see while playing Birth by Sleep. There aren't even any Heartless around whatsoever. Mind you, this is 10 years prior to Kingdom Hearts 1. While I was revisiting the game the past few weeks, I noticed something Leon had said. Leon said that 9 years ago, their world got destroyed by Maleficent. That she was using the Heartless. He also acknowledges the ruling of Ansem the Wise. So, within one year of the events in Birth by Sleep, and the raiding of Radiant Garden, a lot had happened. You see, the castle in Radiant Garden is still just a nice looking castle, but in Kingdom Hearts 1, there are a lot of mechanical contraptions, lifts and pipes sticking out of the towers. This means that right after Birth by Sleep, Ansem's apprentices betrayed him, sent him to the Realm of Darkness, took over his research and began to change the castle, adding all these mechanical things. Maybe to gain the correct amount of power to achieve their research or something? Afterward, Xehanort did the experiment on his subjects, alias Break, Dylan, Evan, Ienzo, Isa and Lee, with himself being the last one. So there he became a heart and started his time travels, while their nobodies took shape and sought refuge in the world that never was. Anyways, due to this experiment, the door to darkness was opened. Just like I had stated before, there were little to no Heartless in the worlds whatsoever. But due to Xehanort's experiment, the Dark Door had opened, releasing all Darkness and Heartless upon the world. The castle is now without a ruler, Ansem the Wise is in the Dark Realm, Xehanort is now a time-traveling heart. A perfect opportunity for Maleficent, the Dark Witch took her chance and raided the castle with her newly acquired minions. The town got obliterated and eventually destroyed, leaving only the castle in Maleficent's hands. This led to Leon and the gang finding their way to Traverse Town, as their part of the world got destroyed. Maleficent then made it her fortress of evilitude and started to recruit the villains of other worlds, teaching them the power over the Heartless to control them. She even redecorated the inner parts a little bit so she can think about home once in a while. That's what I think happened to the castle. The door to darkness opened, swallowed the world, but Maleficent, as dark as she is, raided the castle and that would be the only thing left of the world. Then, after Kingdom Hearts 1, the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee was founded as Leon and his gang started to restore their former world. Because the guild was now closed, the darkness was locked away and they could restore it in peace. Until, of course, the organization began to meddle, and that's where Kingdom Hearts 2 takes off. I hope I enlightened the situation of Raiden Garden a bit for you. Do you have something to add maybe? Have I missed something important? Let me know somewhere on the internet, being here in the comments, my Twitter or Facebook fanpage. This was Glitchy, and I will catch you in the next. When you walk away.